Hello everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to file your taxes for free using TurboTax Free Edition. So whether you are considering doing your own taxes or are officially filing your own, hopefully this video will provide some helpful information to ease some concerns or give you a little tutorial. First off, let's compare Intuit TurboTax options for filing on your own. You can choose any of these options. You can test it out and you only pay at the end when you file. So even if you choose the wrong type of TurboTax, you can go back and add your information to one of the other options before you actually pay at the end. TurboTax is the number one best-selling tax preparation software to file online. The benefits of TurboTax include doing your own taxes at your own discretion, without appointments, and saving a boatload of money off tax prep fees. TurboTax offers a wide variety of resources from calculators and tips to the ability to have tax experts file on your behalf. TurboTax breaks down everything that you need to know and walks you through the different options to file correctly and maximize your return. So there's four basic options that TurboTax offers from the free edition that we're going to go over today to others that are for more self-employed businesses or stock trading or more advanced deductions. The prices shown here are federal only. You'd want to click state additional to see the full prices. Also, Costco has discounts on deluxe and premier editions. So this video is going to focus on the free edition for basic, simple tax returns. So typically, taking the standard deduction and basic W-2 or 1099 income information. If you have more complex needs, for example, lots of itemized deductions, medical expenses, inheritance information, real estate, investments, or you moved from state to state, or you work in a different state, etc., then the free version will probably not do it for you. So first thing you're going to need to do on the homepage of Intuit TurboTax is click do it yourself. Then doing your own taxes, click see pricing and click simple tax returns only should be $0. The next step, you're going to register your personal information and get a login plus your password. So upon logging in for the first time, TurboTax is going to ask you a lot of basic questions, to try to set you up and determine which product is right for you. So again, you can choose any of TurboTax's products to test and you only pay at the end when you file. So if it turns out you do not need a deluxe or premier option, you can simply do the free edition filing as well. Now there's a race mode toggle, which all it is is a way to kind of pressure you into doing your taxes a lot faster. So as you can see, there's a little timer whenever you hit the race mode toggle. So the TurboTax Home provides a timeline and basically all the different information that you would input using the free edition. In addition, there's a documents tab, which you can upload a lot of your documents and it will preload that information in rather than manually typing it. Over to the right, you have live tax help. Now TurboTax currently has a promo where you have free help with live assisted basic features. So you can ask more questions and get more information. So when you begin to file your information, your menu is on the left-hand side and you can go from tab to tab and your information will save so you can go back and edit or fix things before you have to review and file. So first, you're probably gonna put in your personal information for yourself, your spouse, and any dependents you might have. After personal info, you're going to click Federal Wages and W-2. This is where you're going to put your and your spouse's W-2 information and income. Now, you can upload the information or you can begin typing the information in manually by putting employer IDs or different information in the W-2. Many times, TurboTax will find your information already in the system and it will auto-upload all the rest of the information rather than manually typing it. You may also manually type the W-2 information in. All right, after you put your W-2 information in, you will see a refund amount for the federal and state based on what you put in. This number will change as you adjust and update information. Next is the deductions and credits. 
So this is where you're going to see if you can itemize more than the standard deduction. Reminder, this is the free edition, so it is basic with deductions. Now currently the standard deduction is 25,900. So you play with the deductions to see if you can in fact increase that number. As you go, TurboTax will let you know if the standard deduction is right for you or itemized. So with the deductions and credits, you're gonna put in mortgage information, property tax information. There also is a way that you can sync your loan bank account information to TurboTax and it will automatically update all your loan information and property tax information. So at the end of your deductions and credits, TurboTax will recommend either the standard deduction or itemized deductions. So once that is determined, there are some additional questions like donating to presidential funds or some other information that is needed to finalize your federal return. It will review all of what you put in and then you will finalize it and determine how you will want to receive the refund if it's applicable. After federal is the state prep. Now TurboTax will upload all the information from the federal and the W-2 information to the state side. After all the federal stuff is input, there will be additional questions based on the state tax laws. The review tab will find any unfinished information or errors. TurboTax will not allow you to file until all required information is input. The file section is where you're going to finalize what you owe or your potential refund and any other fees. You will then determine whether you will electronically file and input bank information at this point. The Tax Tools tab has extra links to help and the option to clear and start over. This is especially handy if you're playing around with the different TurboTax options. All in all, the TurboTax Free Edition is a great way to save money and do your own taxes, especially if you have a simple return. Again, simple returns are generally just putting W-2s in and taking the standard deductions. However, if you have some simple itemized deductions that will cover over the standard deduction amount, then it also might be worthwhile. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and best of luck in your tax returns.